What's going on guys? Welcome back to PFI Speed. This month we're trying to get onto all the projects and we're trying to get stuff wrapped up, moving, or make some really good progress. While we were in Florida, Todd and the guys jumped on the NSX and they ran through everything. We took the old uh, GTW 3884 turbo off and they just put on a Pulsar GTX 3584RS. I'm kind of anxious to see the difference in this turbo. So let's get it on the dyno and let's start making some jam. This old hot rods on an AEM series one. It's like the OG AEM, but it's been in here for a long time. Pretty nice little system. Four mile an hour, 183 <laughs> horsepower. To me, it sounded like something almost. I thought I heard like a boost leak. We can sure check. Want to smoke it or? You got a coupler off? Yeah, I got a coupler right here at the throttle body. Hmm. We don't I thought I heard something. I have a 2.75. You have one? I do. I got two. You can see here. Where the boost pipe. You see what happened there? <laughs> came off. <laughs> right there is where our boost pipe came off. I'd say this is like the crappiest coupler in the world. Bro, you got it yet? Sean, no. say something rude to him. <laughs> no. You can't get that thing in? No. Hey, no, look at the cash drug in. Tom, it, oh, man, he kind of made it in the trash can. Oh, my motor skills ain't so good yet. Long drive. <laughs> Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. Good to see you. Happy New Year. Hey, man. What's up, what bro? I like that shirt. You like that? That's good. What are you doing here? This car's home. Oh, yeah. Is it ready? No, man. Yep. No. We're born. Maybe tomorrow. Know. Yeah, no, definitely tomorrow. <laughs> All the race cars. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm ready to go. Clear for takeoff. Got a coupler back on, and we're ready to rip. was that even? That's low, real quick. Oh. 16, 17 pounds. Hey, but the power's back. Dude. Oh yeah. 100%. So like the already, the that's back to the same tune-up that we made, what, 650 on the 670, other 670 I think is what we yeah, made the Yeah, so most. we picked up a lot of power and we did nothing. So. Pulsar Turbo. Yep, that, this is a Pulsar Turbo. So this I, is We the, haven't even gone through everything, so maybe you wanna go through that stuff real quick. Okay, enough. so. Originally it had a 6262 on it. We took that off and we put a Garrett GTW on it. 
didn't weren't happy with that so we put one of the pulsar gtx 3584 rs's on it with the t4 housing and i'm pretty dang impressed with it are you impressed with it brent yeah 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 so this is basically the same turbo that we have on like jonathan's evo that we made over 800 with um james's civic that we made a bunch of power with what so it's just got a t4 housing on it yeah, that feels a lot better dude it sounded so good oh, it sounded sweet <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. it, it no, launched. Got, oh, you got him? Yeah. But nice. you filmed the wrong way. <laughs> Pretty sweet though, four of them like this long out of all four tips. Well, we gotta do it again so I can get that on this camera. That is the biggest power band I think I've seen this car have. I softened some stuff up earlier just because I didn't want to start off yeah, aggressive. Yeah, start mellow. I lowered the rev limiter to 8,000. And it's, it's just a fixed duty, so I don't really have, you know, yeah, so I can, can just add gain to it to get it to spool faster. I don't have a curve. Dude, it's already. It's all tech, old tech, so. Yeah, it's a huge power band. Yeah, it's pretty good. This turbo's definitely a lot over. I don't know if we have the other graphs we can compare. All right, so we gave her a little boost control. Let's see what kind of power it makes. You turned up the boost some? A little bit, yeah. All right. dips from before yeah it's just saying it kind of looks the same what do you got there tom uh some cameras for the prelude i'm hoping uh i haven't seen them who are those from uh, ks2 ks2 Ooh. you know what's funny is i just asked your son do you have a shank and he pulled this thing out <laughs> he's gonna shank you what are you doing with this devo Relax. This one, oh well sean got it put the shank away put the shank away Dang. I'm pretty, pretty excited. So this, this one. one's got the trigger in it. Yeah. That one doesn't. So this, this has got all the does. little magnets yeah. there. Yeah, man. Sweet. Very cool. And a little trigger mm -hmm. thing. Very excited. Yeah, that's awesome. And the sensor. Is that all from KST and the whole yep, kit? Yep, the whole yes, kit is. Nice. Kit. We haven't seen Tom in a while. I ordered it like a month ago. And it's longer it's than been that. been sitting here. Your wife says it's been two months. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Ordered a while ago. Yeah, she's been sitting here waiting for you to come back. We're ready. I'm ready for oh, you guys front wheel drives going. I like this. Tom versus This Frank. is what I like. Yeah, when it's, people... going, it's going down. <laughs> it's going down. It's going down, Brent. Who's winning? Well, I'm winning. He won last time. <laughs> so I owe him one. <laughs> it's all right. I'm excited for everybody. I'm excited for you, him, Fong. I mean, Fong is... I'm so stoked for Fong. Yeah, same. So... Everybody's gonna have a good year this year. Get this fuel tech on there and see if we can make it work. It sounds Throttle. like the drive by wire motor is kind of loud. Keep doing it. That's way loud. Yeah.
Is that the recirc? No. No, that's no, the, that's the front pipe to the back. The V band from from the under pipe. All right, where's the camera? Oh, there you go. It's rolling. All right, so you can see right here. It just popped. The... Oh yeah. Oh, I blew the back out of it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go see Sean. All right, Sean. Yo, what's up? You got a two-inch V-band? It blew it up. Oh, shh. I want to see if you had one. Yeah, let me dig around real All right, bit. thank you. Holy cow. So with all the heat and boost, it just... Boom. Yep. That sucks. Totally. Totally. Let's try this. You are. All right. You got it? Yep. Got it all fixed up, boss? Yeah. All right. Here you go. Throw that back on your head. Oof. All right. <laughs> now we gotta tighten these straps down and rip again, right? Yep, that's it. All right, let's do it. Why, they hit those well, straps? It, it sounds normal again. Thank gosh. Yeah, the exhaust leak was not good. All right, you wanna roll? We'll check these straps real quick. <laughs> Last booze? Yeah. Yeah, it might have. That should have definitely been some stink. Yeah. Alright, so we got the smoker hooked up to the turbo. Alright. If you guys can see that smoke very good. But this that one clamp. No, that clamp. The yeah. clamp at the cooler itself is blowing it. Oh, yeah. Maybe the O-ring or something. Maybe the O-ring. Yeah, let's get that apart. Blowing all the boost out. <laughs> Hopefully all that's it. I mean, that's a lot I mean, of smoke. That's a lot of smoke. That's a ton. I mean, the oh, more the more you put to it, the more it's gonna leak. <laughs> all right, so we got a new O-ring in here. Got it all sealed back up. Got it all put back together. Make some jam. did have the old files from when we had the GTW turbo on here so it looks like 664 was coming in a lot a lot later definitely cleaned it up though yeah right now it's just like just trying to make boost and figure out why do we try to see what spring is in the gate first well then... you just fed it way up right i said let's make another pull tonight if it yeah. doesn't do it we can pull we the can, gate apart check the spring the and we can throw yeah, another solenoid on it the yeah that, so. yeah all right so one more with the booty dude the booty <laughs> with the booty <laughs> all the way the booty up just max the booty just max. you said you turned it all the way down to five though too didn't you well i got the gate 
So you so you set a gate pressure. Set. You set the gate pressure, and then you set you what you want. Any oh. duties till it gets you gate, and then a target duty yeah. or a target boost. So it keeps working and trying to get to your target. The whole prologue was set up to. You would put in your gate pressure and then your desired boost and the prologger would get to your desired boost and you do all the internal logging right there. It's an old cool product. Now it's, I think it's the snowmobile dashboard now. Yep. But back when we invented these things, they were the hot ticket. And the wideband's like super accurate. So. I still have that in my Civic. Yeah, I like them. I, I, I wish we'd have done something cooler to make them look cooler. For the interface. But, but they work really good. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you also have the gain on the boost too, so yeah. you can ramp it in a little harder. Oh, I have that rocking too. Yep. All right, let's see where she goes. Good. Yeah, it's pretty badass and i think we'll just dive in i mean we're pretty smart dudes we'll check the boost solenoid and we'll check the gate spring and try all this again another sesh mm -hmm. and uh maybe we'll have some good weather we can go for a drive so yeah but i think that's gonna do for now then we fought her tried we got some cool flames on the oh <laughs> dude every the time <laughs> <laughs> I just watched Tom through that back window touch the pipe that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> but it runs pretty smooth too, and and we could even uh, yeah, and we can make sure the water coolers getting you know we could try cooler water too. Yeah. Well, guys, we're ending it there for the night. I can't wait to kind of get back in and have another session and see if I can't get well over 800 horsepower because it should. We've only got up to 18 pounds of booze, so I think 24, 25 ought to get there pretty easy, that or more. And uh, I think an NSX with that kind of power would just be a blast. So I'm gonna keep working on it. Try to get there, try to have some fun, and then uh, do some ripping. So I think that's gonna do it for the night. The guys are still over here working on the door panel because of the little door lock things. They kind of, we had a problem with those. So we gotta fix these. So that, but we're on it. But we look forward to bringing you guys the rest of our project. Tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and tear the J-Series from the bat rod down, see what kind of carnage that left us off with. And then we're about to dive into show enough and run around this hot rod. I think we're gonna take this motor apart and uh, put some fresh pistons in it, go over all that, make sure it's all legit and ready to go. And then uh, Sean has the panel already done to mount the fuel tech. And that's right under here, this whole area. So we're gonna get that mounted and all those little components and then start mapping out and how we're gonna do the wiring and then get on that too. So pretty stoked about all this going on. And then we're gonna jump on the El Camino too, both El Caminos yep. and Goofy's little CRX and Sean's CRX and Todd's twin turbo CRX. CRX. <laughs> <laughs> Trifecta of CRX. <laughs> Trifecta, yeah. And then, and then my son Steven just finished his little Civic and he's kind of buttoning things up and he's ready to rip too. So I think you and me have to bring our CRXs over now. Yeah, now we got, CRX game. I got my CRX out well, there in the field, so. I don't have a CRX. Well, you should catch well, up. Yeah. Sorry. I was well, I got, he was going to give me one. Yeah, Shane's got a couple. <laughs> so that's going to do it for tonight. Give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Ciao.